Hi, I'm Conrad Stoll, and welcome to Ask a Dev. This week's question comes from Danny, and he wants to know how to develop for the larger iPhones. The first step is to decide how you want the app to be designed to take advantage of the larger screen size. Apple's given us a few good examples of this with their built-in apps for iOS 8, where apps like Safari, Messages, and Mail are showing the user more content and a special layout for landscape orientation. The Messages app is also showing the user more information in portrait, since Apple has more screen real estate to show chat avatars so you can see who you're talking to. It's also important to consider how the user is going to be holding the larger phone in their hand. Controls on the top of the screen won't be as reachable, so if you have important functionality that you want the user to be able to easily tap on, you may want to consider moving those controls down towards the bottom of the phone. If you are already using auto layout, the good news is that your transition to work with the larger screen size will be a lot easier. If you weren't using auto layout yet, now will definitely be a good time to start so that you can more easily adapt your layouts to work on multiple form factors. There's also another new technology that Apple introduced this year with iOS 8, which is called Adaptive Layout. Adaptive Layout helps you decide what type of layout you want to provide to different size class of devices. So that's how Apple is able to provide a special type of layout for the iPhone 6 Plus while providing the normal layout for the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6. Because the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are so new, it may take a little bit of time to get your new design right for the larger phones. The good news is that while you're finishing the update, that your app will just scale up and continue to work fine on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. You will want to release a new update that's optimized for the larger phones though, because that's what's going to provide the best experience for users. That's it for this week's episode. Please tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave a question in the comments.